Hi, in this video we're going to talk about marketing and digital marketing strategies for reaching out to governments internationally and we're also going to touch upon the field of FDI. Welcome to Profile 3 TV, we're here in the Innovation Factory on the Springfield Road and my name is Kieran from Profile 3. Uh, we're joined by David Gray from Wavtech. So David, welcome and thank you for Thanks for having coming. me. Yeah, brilliant, no cheers. So you'd mind telling us a little bit about yourself and your company? Yeah, so um, I'm the marketing manager at Wavtech currently. I've been there since 2016. Mm -hmm. um, we have quite a small marketing team. Um, there's me and another girl that I work with, but our team um, is Wavtech is the biggest FDI um, consultancy data and technology company um, in the world currently. We have 80 full-time FDI consultants and we have 16 offices um, all over the globe. So um, I'm not name all 16, Hello. but um, we have offices in the US, um, throughout Europe, uh, South Korea, India, um, we have a, our technology hub is actually in Cork um, in the south, south of Ireland so um, these offices are strategically placed so we can you know target companies who are interested in um, expanding overseas you know so incredible yeah amazing so wow so 16 offices yeah 80 full-time consultants uh -huh. so and we work for the our, to our main our main um, uh, client base is government clients um, we work with them to help them attract more foreign investment. Mm -hmm. um, so we have worked with over 300 um, different government clients from around the globe. Um, we've um, helped them secure over 50 million billion worth of greenfield investment projects since wow. 2014. Incredible. So uh, yeah, we're doing big things and our company's growing and growing every day. Mm -hmm. um, we actually have, um, we're opening up a, 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 an office in Dubai next month. Oh, yeah. So. I lived in Dubai for two years, so we got to help, uh, yeah. especially this, as the winter rain comes in, yeah. uh, you got volunteers here, you know, but, We uh, actually um, attend a big event there every year, so uh, I'm there every April, it's called the Annual Investment Meeting, um, oh. so we, um, a lot of you know economic development agencies from all over the world will go there okay. and meet corporate clients Amazing. and uh, just to help them you know attract more investment to their location. So, yeah. so uh, really interesting. So, yeah. but you're, you're, primary customer is governments? Yes, governments, yeah. Would large companies come to you then as well, or it's just governments, mainly governments? Yeah, we'll come, uh, large companies would come to us as well if they were, you know, had interest in expanding overseas. Ah, so, so to find out about a country, you'd be the company to go and ask? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so um, our lead generation teams, for for instance, um, if, say, Invest Northern Ireland wanted to, um, to attract more uh, pharmaceutical companies from the US, our lead generation teams would look at you know what events are happening in the USA, um, say next year, and then they would um, you know um, look at companies that are attending those events mm -hmm. and bring a delegation from Invest NI over to meet those companies, and you know set up the meetings and the, the the trade missions and you know just to help them you know get to know these companies and find out what their plans are and um, where they kind of want to plan to invest and. And they would also be trying to promote, you know, and Northern Ireland is a, an investable location. We have, you know, here we have um, low office cost spaces, yes. um, cost effective labor costs. Mm -hmm. um, it's a tech hub. Definitely. It's becoming a tech hub, yeah, yeah. as you can see with yeah. your, your company in the building that we're in yeah, right now. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so that's so really win, just what we do. Beautiful place for anyone to come. Like, <laughs> the food, the drink, the yeah. people. This, yeah. oh, no, there's so many things, it's, yeah. uh, it is incredible. Sounds amazing actually, so you, you guys are actually doing a really important job for governments all around mm -hmm. the world, especially for here. Yeah. So, so for people who are outside of the industry, but we hear FDI, or foreign direct investment, a lot. Mm -hmm. what, what exactly is it then? Um, well, it has its many terms, but basically it's when a, a company um, wants to invest in a foreign location, you know, has been to business interests in a foreign location mm -hmm. and wants to open up there. So um, um, an example, a good example would be um, Baker McKenzie, the, the US law firm. They actually expanded their office here, I think, in July mm -hmm. um, to 150 people. So that's a good, um, you know, that's a good example. They were an American law firm. They, you know, invested in Northern Ireland. Mm -hmm. they, um, it's good for the company because they're getting, you know, um, our local talent pool, the Queen's Law School. You know, they're getting all the graduates yeah. there. Um, again, as I mentioned, um, the low cost, um, you know, cost sorry, cost effective wage structure, mm -hmm. um, good tax incentive schemes from the government, 
Um, and it's good as well for you know Northern Ireland because it's a boost in the economy. Right. Uh, a big US law firm, you know, opening up here, so Incredible. it's it's good. It's good that way. It's creating more jobs. Mm -hmm. It's it's. It's good for both people, you know. Yeah, so oh no, so win-win for everyone. There's yeah. no doubt. It's incredible yeah. to see, and it, it, you get a little bit excited when you see the big companies coming in, the international companies coming in, mm -hmm. because you know that something is working. Something's really positive about Northern Ireland, uh, yeah. the whole island. It's incredible mm -hmm. just to see. You're just seeing lots of office spaces opening here now. You know, um, this building. I think it's a year or two years. Two old. years now, yes. Yeah, um, and they're opening another big one. I think PwC recently announced that oh. they're moving their offices into like a an even you know double the size office because their team's getting so big um i think other ey they've opened up a big office here recently as well haven't they um so yeah it's just it's all positive it's great yeah, yeah it's all positive for so northern ireland we, we all forget about the politics <laughs> and just the standard business and, and uh, keep going which is, yeah. which is amazing yeah. so there's obviously um foreign direct investment so the, the main benefits would be jobs uh, in the economy then yeah, job creation um, um, and just kind of, you know, ease of trade and things like that. I guess I guess then as well that uh, in in these companies coming in, they're bringing in a lot of different ways of working and, and even new talent. Do people relocate as well? So I think in some instances people relocate, yeah. Um, usually what they would do would be sending, you know, as if they're starting up the office, they will send people overseas, you know, from overseas, you know, to kind of get in there and mm -hmm. show them a way the company works and the culture and things like that, and then we build it up from the ground up. I think so. Yeah. Very good, it's very exciting. Yeah. So, in in your job then at the moment, uh, it sounds uh, quite interesting uh, working in all these countries and dealing with all these people around the world. What what would uh, you a day consist of? What do you do? Um, well, I don't get to travel that much. <laughs> we have big events that we travel around the year that I would attend, you know, and we would have a, a presence there just to increase our brand awareness, mm -hmm. you know. But um, <clears throat> my um, colleague, our chief commercial officer, Chris Knight, he um, he speaks at all these events around right, the yeah. world, yeah, um, that the, the government clients attend. Mm -hmm. um, so he's really, you know, trying to push WAFTAC out there to these government right. entities so we can work with them on, you know, um, future projects. Um, and what would the conferences be? What what kind of a conference would would you, you or your company attend? Yeah, so there's a big one um, in Washington D.C. called Select USA. Um, so all of the um, economic development agencies um, would attend that event. So it's vital that we have a presence there and we can speak to those um, government organizations and find out what type of companies they want, you know, to attract and. And and each so each so each say state has a a different sector, mm -hmm. maybe that they want to promote their own specific sector, whether it's like renewable energy or, um, you know, petrochemical or pharma. We just have to find out what um what's the right fit for them, and um you know, it's just uh, seeing what type of companies they want to attract. So, so cool. yeah, yeah. Oh, amazing. So um. So you work with a lot of uh, government agencies, and um, I guess they're your main client. What you, know, you offer the marketing services? Could you give us some examples or what what you've done in the past? Yeah, so we offer many services to them, but um, I specifically uh, manage the marketing team and the marketing services division of WavTech. Um, so obviously, every government organisation wants to make their location more invest investable um, for potential investors. So um, a recent example of this would be um, a client I work with in Western Canada. Um, they wanted to promote their uh, three main sectors, which are fisheries, forestry and renewable energy. Awesome. So um, we went in and um, we updated all of their marketing collateral online um, and we drew up a marketing plan for them as well. Um, and we created a, a micro site that really promoted these three main sectors and pushed this across social media over a, a three month period. Um, we designed different infographics promoting the different sectors. And uh, yeah, just really kind of making their uh, location seem really, you know, investable mm -hmm. and really pushing out those different sectors um, so investors would, would take notice, you know. Right. Um, so you really were highlighting the key points of the, the area. And, yeah. And getting yeah. That, and it, so you used online a lot then for that campaign? Yeah, it was online, yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn. Wow. Um, Facebook. So we very, just we revamped their whole, yeah. So their, their, their website was a bit, you know, I wouldn't say dated, they just wanted to, you know, make it more visually attractive. Yeah. Um, so we went in and, you know, worked with them to make their website more user-friendly, um, 
just lots of you know more visually impressive images of, mm -hmm. of the different sectors that they wanted to promote so um, yeah it was a really fun project and mm -hmm. um, I think they were very pleased and mm -hmm. I, I think they're doing well now and um, they've the maybe attracted some business I think since off oh, really? the back of that so um, Incredible. so yeah so obviously you're a relatively small company uh, 80 people 80 more more than 80 uh, full-time people is not small but in the yeah. scale of things globally maybe some people would consider it small but you have delivered very successful campaigns. Mm -hmm. uh, how how do you achieve that? How do you do that? Well, um, we have a, a sixteen offices around the world, so we have people strategically placed in those offices, so they can meet with you know um, companies who are um, looking to do FDI or expand. So um, that's how important you know our strategically located offices are. Um, with regards to marketing, um, yeah, we have a very small team at Wavtech, um, and our resources are you know limited, but we have plenty of work. <laughs> We're very kept very busy. Very good. Um, so I think it's just really making um, the most of, out of what you've got and trying new things. Um, for recently this month, sorry, we um, we conducted a webinar. Mm -hmm. um, it was our first, you know, um, webinar, WAFTAC webinar. We did webinars with um, our clients yeah, yeah. on behalf of our clients, but this was our first WAFTAC webinar. Probably. So um, the webinar was titled How to Attract FDI from Europe because of Brexit and things like that. Companies and yeah. governments want to know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Um, And we thought that would have been an interesting topic. So um, our CEO, um, Henry Lowendahl, um, um, and um, another FDI expert um, based in Germany, um, they did the webinar together. So we um, we used our global database to send out a tailored meal shot to the to, go, to our government clients worldwide, and um, the feedback was great. You know, yeah. um, people were signing up after like thirty minutes of me yeah. sending out the meal shot. We promoted it on um, LinkedIn and uh, Twitter with you know infographics around you know FDI oh. attraction from Europe, yeah. and um, yeah, it was it was really successful. Um, we um, we did the the webinar um, uh, two times in in, in in the day, you know, oh. um, so we could hit both time zones. Brilliant. Yeah. And um, yeah, and we did, we ran polls throughout the um, the webinar, you know, just to keep it interactive. Mm -hmm. So we had little questions would pop up, and then people would answer them, and then um, the presenters would you know call out the answers, yeah, and yeah. and there and there was brilliant. a Q, and there was a Q and A at the end as yeah. well. So um, people were actually asking you know questions mm -hmm. and and. Um, uh, we were supplying the answers, so that was really you know beneficial for them. Mm -hmm. And we also did a poll at the end, like a survey, asking um, um, people like how useful they found the webinar and would they attend it again. And ninety eight percent said they would attend again, and they found it very useful. You know, um, so yeah, it went really successful. Incredible! So um, it sounds like we've we've again you're you're providing amazing value. Yeah, just amazing content. Yeah. I think it's really important that you know content marketing. Um, mm -hmm. Just providing relevant, timely content at the right time that's relevant that people want to, you know, yeah. find useful. It's going to help them, you know, do their job better, and um, it just looks really good for us. Yeah, you know, it's really good. Um, game. That we're helping government yeah. clients totally and good. just giving them the knowledge that they need to attract more um, FDI. Yeah. So um, very good. You have a very similar strategy to ourselves in content yeah. marketing. Absolutely love content marketing, and, yeah. and this is this is a form. Mm -hmm. Today we you and I are actually creating more content marketing and in yeah. um, recording a video and sharing it online, which is brilliant. So yeah. we, we do have the same belief in, in yeah. the va providing value yeah. and uh, yeah, generating leads that way. So it's really yeah. Good so content marketing is you know our biggest you know um, driver I think in the mm -hmm. marketing department. Um, it's uh, really important that we you know kind of capture people's data, but obviously you know st strictly. You know, GDPR. GDPR yeah. We'll talk about yeah. that in a minute. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, basically, for example, when Brexit got announced, we did a Brexit report, mm -hmm. and we hosted it on our, um, our our website. It was free to download, mm -hmm. but we 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 noticed, you know, um, it wasn't getting lots of traction. So we we made it that they had to register to download it, and we promoted it more on our social media channels, and we let tweeted little excerpts and. You know, did a little blog around it and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So, um, and every time you know something big happens in the industry, we would you know maybe try and do a bit of content and put it mm -hmm. out on the publications. Uh, sorry, Amazing. the knowledge portal. Yeah. And um, people will, will register to get that knowledge. You know, so we have two thousand government agencies now registered at the portal and growing. 
um, and we've only had it, you know, since the last July, I think it was, that we launched this portal. So, um, yeah, so any, you know, new content that we produce, we put it on there and someone registers to download it. And then we have it, you know, GDPR, we, we have, you know, tick boxes. Um, can we market to you again? Brilliant. Can we send you, every time you launch a new report, are we able to send you that report yes. again? You know, so we're not just, you know, Hi. randomly blasting it, them out a, a generic email and people would get annoyed at that sort of thing. Yeah. So they have the option, you know, to opt in for our um, resources yeah. or, or not. So um, I think over like a third of people want us to, you know, re-engage re with them. So, uh, so yeah, that's... It's it's the best I think um, yeah. way of you know getting leads for our team is through the is through the content mm -hmm. um, marketing. So um, yeah, it's it's going great. <laughs> and it's the thing really is as well, you've got because you've got eighty experts uh, who you can generate content from, and then it, it yeah, exactly, your in, in yeah. team as well. Yeah. Which is amazing. So yeah. I, I can imagine the quality of the content is incredible. Yeah, and then it's interesting that you've went from the. The, the free just putting content out and, and gated uh, it now because actually I think the whole internet uh, you know people are getting used to having to provide information and get content that's not always free yeah and people value it more yeah way. yeah and then of course as you say GDPR wow so we're yeah. all, <laughs> we're all really well. especially yourselves you because you operate globally yeah you need to be very aware of it I so. think Canada has very strict you know wow. it's called Castle C A S L they have you know strict regulations as well you just can't email send a generic email out to you know a database in Canada um so but we found like ways to you know kind of not get around GDPR. We obviously have our regulations mm -hmm. in place. We, you know, we, we had someone come into our office and tell us all about Brilliant. what we have to do. So, yeah. um, but we think um, the best way to engage with you know people who are strict with GDPR um, in Canada um, is through LinkedIn. You know, so maybe using an email um, to kind of approach them that way and um, sending them maybe something that's you know that's going to be relevant to them. Um, yes. and it's not just you know any old yes. thing. So. Yes. Yes. Um, and, and, and trying to engage with them in a you know a way that's not too intrusive, and um, you know really just kind of you, that's it you know using just what's there, using what's yeah. out there. Yeah. Well, so maybe, again, it's another thing about three things we have in common is that the days again you, you blast content out there are gone. You you really are well, yeah everyone to be more selective. Yeah, uh, our emails now are very much more tailored to the individual, um, and we do a little bit of research about you know. Um, the people that we're targeting and we, we, we want to make sure that this stuff that we're sending them is very right. relevant to them and they want to read about it mm -hmm. um otherwise we won't send them it you know and we also our lists online we data we password protect those um you know it's very very secure um mm -hmm. way of dealing with you know um data at, at Bob Tech. so um very we're very on top of that no, and good, uh, good. i think um they're starting to clamp down on you know companies who aren't. So it's very important that it's good to see people get on top of this, yeah. and um, or face a, a very big fine, <laughs> which we don't want. <laughs> and we know that that's going to happen to someone somewhere. But um, but it's, it's amazing the change has happened uh, since GDPR, and it's mm. only only good things. So we'll see how it progresses over the, mm. the years ahead. But there's a little bit of work for us all as marketers yeah. to get ready for. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. This is, part of the game. Yeah. So obviously you're a marketeer, you're using technology and content marketing and all these tools, webinars and everything, which is brilliant. Um, would you have any tips or advice to any other marketeers or people who are thinking that they need to promote their business or brand online? Yeah, so any tips I would give to, you know, online marketers for to succeed, but, you know, kind of be realistic and, and set, you know, goals and objectives mm -hmm. if you're planning for 2019. I think you really kind of, you know, really need to look at what's happening throughout the year. Are there any, you know, big events happening, um, any big announcements and really kind of tailor your marketing efforts around these, um, you know, big kind of things that are happening throughout the year. So um, really kind of make smart objectives. And um, so, for example, when we were planning last year, um, Amazon in America announced that they were going to be building a second headquarters. Um, so obviously all of our, you know, US based government clients for all our friends here around wanting to win the bid. So I knew this announcement was happening. So I worked with our teams to create, you know, useful content and how to win the bid. And we promoted that to our, our clients and mm -hmm. um, just to give them, you know, kind of what Amazon will be looking for, what incentives they're going to be maybe offering and how they can better promote their, their state to, to win the bid. Um, 
so yeah, it's just kind of really kind of planning, and, planning yeah. and planning effectively and seeing what's oh, it's out there. It's very interesting. Um, it's very interesting actually. Before I forget, is that you were actually were you were talking there about online and offline yeah. and events and um, it's mixing both. I think is yeah. is so the, a lot is of people wouldn't forward. even think. Yeah, you know, sometimes we think it's online only and like we're an online marketing agency, content marketing agency, and actually I I would beyond. Like, content's amazing for lead generation mm -hmm. but actually that's only part of it it's yeah. the events you actually have to meet people don't you yeah I think face to face is still Incredible. definitely a, a good way and of you know, converting someone oh, no. <laughs> this, this is it. and I can see it in your strategy like the fact that you've got 80 offices around the world is incredible like, yeah. going, oh my word um, that's and, genius and, and, <laughs> and our teams um, you know we attend say like 100 events per year maybe more I don't know the exact number, yeah, but like yeah. a lot of events, you know. So uh, I think the face-to-face -face, face -face approach for us is definitely the way yeah. forward. But mm -hmm. in marketing terms, it's, you know, producing relevant content, making sure we have, you know, a really good presence at the various events that we attend globally mm -hmm. and um, really pushing our brand out there and, and um, just trying to, you know, tell people what we do. Um, so, yeah, um, I think, yeah, my tips are to plan effectively and um, see what big industry events are coming up that your target market are going to be at and plan your um, strategy around that, Perfect. both offline and offline, sorry, online and offline yeah. is, you know, the best a good way, way forward, yeah. Incredible, so very, no, good advice, <laughs> thank you. But I, no, I did, uh, I've learned today again, you know, a reminder about the, the power of events and yeah. your strategy around having these offices, I'm, I'm really yeah. impressed, so that's, that's really So for exciting. example, if you're going to events, um, what we would do sometimes would be to, you know, do like live um, social media things mm -hmm. of our, um, of our, uh, uh, team speaking, you know, cool. um, at the event we're live at, you know, the event that we're attending, mm -hmm. and um, you know, we're we're gonna we're looking forward to meeting, you know, companies, so. come to our booths and learn more about BovTech, mm -hmm. um, and things like that, you know. So we're really pushing right. our brand out there, yeah. and um, creating useful content. No, it's a, it's a amazing strategy. Channels. That's clearly working. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we talked a lot about the services that you offer, mm -hmm. and um, it's not just services, do you, you actually offer some products as well to support? Yeah, well, we're the leading provider of FDI products. Um, we have a multitude of different products focused around FDI, and um, so one of our biggest products would be Incentives Monitor. Um, this allows companies to see what incentives packages are being awarded across the globe. Incredible. You know, so um, they're able to compare incentives in different regions Amazing. and um, we also have FTI accounting software as well um, we also are rolling out um, in the new year a CRM tool for um, investment promotion agencies so um, wow. they'll so, have a yeah so every, everything that's yeah and it's really sp focused around you know FTI, FTI. and um, and how they do their you know their outreach yeah. so that the, the system is really focused you know on that it's not just on a uh, any CRM is really focused on FDI and and um, you know how they can do their lead generation um, efforts and it's really tailored towards you know that, that outreach model, and yeah. that business model. So Cause that's that's half the problem though, isn't it? Because you go to the internet, you're thinking, okay, I need a CRM or I need a marketing tool, and you, you go get these lists of top yeah. ten, uh, where you, and you have to try every single one. Mm -hmm, and yeah. uh, uh, as you say, they're either very generic. Yeah, or very specific for a different industry, and yeah. you spend so much time going through these tools. So we 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 say that our tagline is they're designed by FDI experts for you know, FDI yeah. you know people who are interested in FDI and those government agencies. Cool. So you know, um, it's it's really designed by people who know what mm. those agencies want, who've worked in those agencies maybe previously as well. Um, some of our team have worked in you know, um, um economic development agencies in the past. Um, so really know the inside. So they really know the inside out and what these government agencies want. So they help build the tools, and um, we have a, an amazing um, team down in Cork. Our uh, technology hub's based there. Um, they um, make tools for the ta Financial Times as well. Um, wow. So they they really, really they really know what they're doing. The yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so um, and is that for in Cork? That's where you would do most of your uh, web development and design. Yeah, our cheap technology officers based there and he manages a team down there so uh, they do all our website you know um, updates and uh, I work closely with them you know to make our um, website really you know optimized and uh, 
ensuring that it's updated with regular you know content and news and um also the guys down in cork um build tools for our government client base as well they've actually um they've built a crm tool for haiti the, oh. the agency in haiti and they built um you know training um platforms for the caribbean export agency cool. um so yeah they um they're really busy down there, oh, that's, that's <laughs> as you can concern. tell. Yeah, that's a, but again, they've got the expertise, so it makes sense yeah. to keep bringing out tools that people are uh, looking for. And mm -hmm. at the end of the day, as we all know, that um, you know we need more automation, but smarter tools that can personalize things as well. Yeah. So back to it, that we're reaching out to uh, interested prospects who are actually uh, want our content, and hopefully we'll turn into a a, a lead into a sale at some stage, mm -hmm. which, is, which is what it's all yeah, about. Yeah, definitely, is, yeah. No, really interesting, it's amazing that in-house that you're developing these tools as well, that's incredible. Yeah. So I can see your marketing position, um, wow. Like, it's uh, difficult to market every one of them, but. Oh, uh, no, but, uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah. where you are, like, you, you know, you, you clearly are the leaders in, as your opening statement was, in the FDI industry, like it's yeah. incredible. Like, yeah. So we're talking about products, all these amazing products. So. Uh, the, the economy's changing, we've got the political upheaval that's happening all around yeah. us, so the whole market's changing, so what tools do you have that's keeping up with the industry trends then? Um, good question, well um, we actually created a new tool really off the, after the aftermath of Brexit, we were more interested in um, what UK companies were doing after the announcement, um, so we created a, a tool called UK Investment Monitor, um, which really tracks um, uh, where UK companies are expanding domestically, so what locations in the UK they're they're expanding to, or, or you know, so this helps the uh, government agencies and um, you know local enterprise partnerships within the UK um, see what um, local domestic companies are, are investing in which region, you know. Um, so it's it's a really good tool, yeah. and we've actually did the same tool for Canada and Australia wow. now as well because they're really you know domestic. Um, right, growth, growth there is important. really important to them as well. So it's, um, it's incredible. To, I can imagine the data coming off this. Uh, yeah, be a lot of people interested to see what's happening. Yeah, lots of data, and um, yeah, it's just a really um, interesting tool. I mean, and and the, the problem is, no one knows. You know, ever you, you think you news. know? Yeah, yeah, this yeah. Is, you go to news and. Depending on which part of the news you're you're watching, you know everything's over here to yeah. the left, and everything's to the right, and yeah. then it's upside down. Yeah. So you actually don't know. So actually, yeah. to have a tool that's really measuring and yeah. seeing what's happening. Yeah, and we have re and we have research teams, you know, who research the, the the data every day and the information. They're updating new deals that are happening live, you know, um, and putting that into the database. So awesome. we're able to see, you know, the deals that are happening, you know, this month, and and um, this is really useful for mm -hmm. you know. Um, the government agencies who want to know you know what's happening and what trends are happening yeah. and where people are in the UK are investing you know and um, which companies yeah. are investing where and it's really helpful for them to, uh, to have that access, access that to that knowledge yeah, incredible so, though yeah. I can see uh, even just as an interest point to see what's happening yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'd be interested to see. <laughs> we'll talk about that <laughs> um, so, no, so and, and obviously as we know uh, to be honest it sounds like You've already captured the, the world in, in yeah. So doing, we've done we've done the FDI products, but we're doing domestic products as well. So incredible. Yeah. So fine. so again, you've covered everything, as you mentioned, uh, international FDA and local government support as well. So mm -hmm. what what's left? What's what's next for uh, your company to to explore? Well, um, we're really focusing on the sustainable um, aspect of things. We want to help these governments, you know, help their locations become more sustainable and help mm -hmm. them reach their sustainable. Um, uh, development goals. Mm -hmm. um, we recently launched a new service there in April. Um, uh, it's a, called CIAS, so it's a sustainable um, investment advisory service. Um, so we have experts here, um, you know, um, in the field of sustainability, um, you know, going out to these clients and government clients and helping, you know, understand their their uh, their goals and their strategies. And we want to help them attract more sustainable FDI um, and just really help them meet their sustainable goals. You know. Um, so I think um, that's what we're kind of focus. working on for the future is, you know, yeah. building a better world and helping these um, places, you know, be more sustainable yeah. and um, bringing them more sustainable um, investment, investment yeah. projects. Yeah. Very incredible. Yeah. You know, very important, I think, and, 
uh, you know, you think you've achieved everything, but yet there's always a iteration yeah. that comes after it, and after that, then there'll be something yeah. else. But it's amazing. So and we're we're releasing new reports, um, sustainable reports. You know, mm-hmm. on kind of you know the 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 high growth sustainable sectors that mm-hmm. the, these companies should be you know looking focus out for and trying to focus out. So we we did one actually on the insect sector. Um, because they're funny. making yeah they're making you know new proteins and things like that from insects and um you know there's a massive you know um, market share yeah. for 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 this type of thing you wouldn't think it it's like a billion dollar market I forget the exact number but it's a, a huge number of course and um so these um these are very attractive markets you know it's again they're sustainable mm-hmm. and um they're very you know lucrative and the the government agencies are obviously want to make you know their locations sustainable so um these reports will help towards that and our our uh, service of course will help of course. them to understand that s- sector better incredible so yeah. i've learned a lot and yeah. you're talking my my kind of language so yeah. it sounds like you're really cutting edge and providing amazing information mm-hmm. so you're sharing loads of content and we know you've got amazing original um research available mm-hmm. on your site and and you're you're talking uh, topics that I would even feel as a business person be interested mm-hmm. to find out about, mm-hmm. and find out what's happening yeah. uh, online uh, globally in my region. So anyone can go to your website and sign up for the newsletter and get uh, a lot of this information. That yeah. So if you go to wavtech slash publications, this is where all of our publications and special report series is are, mm-hmm. and um, yeah. So anybody can sign up with their email address and oh. just their company name. And uh, of course, it's GDPR uh, like protected, yeah, yeah. compliant. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, they can log on there and um, download, you know, something that they're interested in. And also, um, they can make an inquiry um, on our um, contact page as well. If they, if there's maybe local companies who wish to expand into different regions, we have you know experts who can you know give them good guidance and mm-hmm. put them in contact with the right people. And um, yeah, yeah, so. Great support. Great so support. I think you've just killed my weekend. I think uh-huh. I'll, be, I'll be hitting a few reports. So uh, okay. So, yeah. Sounds amazing. Uh-huh. 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 Sounds brilliant. Profile tree expanding. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we we have to see where we're, markets. You know, <laughs> just have to see where it's next. But yeah. no, amazing because actually the you know the content you're talking about sounds actually really really interesting. Mm-hmm. And, and the fact it's available there and uh, I can get it GDPR compliant, of course, which is really even yeah, better. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm not going to be. Uh, tortured so it sounds really good so yeah. I will definitely be uh, hitting that up so just for people again um, the, so what's the web address? it's uh, wavtech.com slash publications cool. and you spell um, that wavtech is d- spelled W-A-V-T-E-Q cool. yeah cool. and then they can of course go to our contact page and our okay. products and services are all on there and um, anything they need excellent I, I <laughs> hope I hope in a year or two that uh, we'd be reaching out through the contact page and saying, yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, if you no, want to expand, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop me an email. That's it. <laughs> we'll get some guidance. Yeah. Oh, brilliant! Thank you very much. Absolutely incredible. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't wait to get through, through some of your information. Yeah. So again, thank you very much for coming in today and sharing uh, your knowledge and about your company. And what we'll do is obviously underneath this video, there'll be a link directly back to uh, your company's website. So. I would encourage everyone and anyone to go and sign up and um, educate themselves on what's happening around mm-hmm. the, the world. And uh, thank you for joining us today. It's Kieran here at Profile 3 and we're the content marketing agency based in Innovation Factory on the Springfield Road. Uh, if you like the video, please do su- subscribe, of course. Uh, like it, comment below, share it uh, on the social networks of your choice. And we'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Thank you again.